Sean Roth here on the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brightwell, joined by Sean Burdett, getting ready to start a little bit of a homestand. But first of all, we, we go back. You, you go on a two, two-game road trip, head down to New Orleans and Houston. And as we know, unfortunately, the rough always tough in the American. Yeah, you know, very good teams that we faced on the road there with Tulane on uh, Friday evening and then yesterday with Houston and Houston sitting up there towards the top of the conference, a uh, very physical team, very gifted team there and a uh, good environment to uh, to go and play in and, you know, had some opportunities on Friday against Tulane, really loved the way we came out and fought and we just got to be able to finish that through all the way. How do you talk to the team or what's your message to the team? Because now you're, you're getting to the middle of the conference season. You'll start getting to the back half of the, uh, uh, the American conference season here. Yeah, it's really about progress. And in what are we seeing day to day? What are we seeing weekend to weekend? And what are those steps that we can continue to take to, to move forward? And certainly we go back to the ball control and just getting after that kind of defensive tenacity and then, you know, making sure we've got legs and uh, you got you to gotta be able to jump and, and hit and uh, kill the ball. So at, at the end of the day, you know, we've got good components and we've got to make sure that they're all firing on all cylinders. You got an opportunity now. The next two weeks, you're going to be at home for four matches, so it's going to give your team, and it's rare you're you're going to be home during a conference season for nearly two weeks. But it gives you a chance to to get into a bit of a routine. You don't have to worry about loading up, busing anywhere, or, or flying anywhere for the new t- next two weeks. Yeah, and it's it's actually great in terms of being here in our, our facility, sleeping in your own bed. I mean, everybody has to travel. Everybody faces it. And, you know, I think uh, certainly travel and logistics are a little bit different than they were a couple of years ago, still kind of on the back end of, of COVID and everything. And, and, you know, sometimes things don't go as planned, you know, and you, you know, get delays and things like that. But it's how you deal with it. And, you know, it is nice to be at home. We've got this home stand for two weekends. And then we actually have a – midweek with SMU in the, the first week there of uh, November and uh, you know then turn around the next day after that home match on that Wednesday and, and go to Temple so really kind of five matches here that we get at home and got a great opportunity to to bring our fans back in and continue to support us. I haven't had a chance to talk to you about this year at least I just haven't asked it how, how has travel been this year it's the year after the pandemic we know how strict it was last year there's still you know things you got to do when you go to the airport and I guess in the back of your mind, not as it's not as it's not been as primary as last year. Will something happen before we travel somewhere to play a match that will cancel it or postpone it? But what has it been like going on the road this year? Well, you, you just have to be ready to, to change and, and move a little bit. Um, you know, I think it's one of those things where you're still looking at the service industry and, and no matter what it is, whether it's restaurants, hotels, airlines. I think there's a lot of people, unfortunately, still shorthanded. And, you know, sometimes it creates a little bit longer delays or maybe some errors and meals, things like that. But at the end of the day, we'll get it right and, and make sure that we're able to kind of just continue to, to push forward. You, you can't, can't control everything and, and you just got to be prepared. All right, Coach, you talked about having the, the two weeks at home, the five match. How important is this? You're going to start it off uh, over the weekend against USF on Friday, then UCF on Sunday. Yeah, you know, everything is focused on USF right now and, you know, get through the that one match and then you start preparing for the next and we can't look at a big, a big picture of all these opponents coming in here. It's who's next and what are we doing each day and we'll get into um, some good game planning on Wednesday for for South Florida and then continue that into Thursday and then play Friday evening at six o'clock. Then on Sunday, you have UCF, and the reason we kind of want to mention that now, you're scheduled for a 1 o'clock start. Couldn't wiggle around a little bit. I know you're going to start to have overlap with other sports. So right now, 1 o'clock, but uh, I guess just pay attention to the volleyball social media, whether it's Twitter, yeah. Facebook, or Go Tigers Go. Absolutely, and it may, may move that, shift that a little bit earlier of a start. It certainly won't be later, but uh, just keep checking out social media and our website. All right, Coach, as always, we appreciate it. Thank you. That is Sean Burdett. I'm Jeff Brightwell with the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network. 